One of the Lung Gang wants to become a professional dog walker, and uh, she said that this was in one of our practice tests, so let's make sure we know how to do it, Mike. So find dy by dx. We can see x and y's are mixed up. Implicit differentiation. Now, what would a lot of students be tempted to do here? Expand the bracket. What a waste of time. Just do product rules straight away. Because when you expand x squared y, you're going to have to do product rule regardless. So you might as well do it as it is now. So, remember, we don't use u and v. That's just long. That's book methods. Differentiate the first term times the second plus. Differentiate the second term. Now this, remember, we differentiate like normal. 2 plus y differentiates to 1, but it's a function of y, so you times by dy dx. So it actually just differentiates to dy by dx. Yeah, so differentiate the first term times the second, differentiate this times this. Minus, differentiate this. 2y differentiated a function of y with respect to x, we times it by dy dx. Equals 0. Okay, now all we need to do is rearrange for dy dx. So what I'm going to do here so I'm going to factorize out dy dx. What am I left with? x squared minus 2y. This, I can just move it to the other side. So I get, well, it's 2x lots of this, so you get minus 2x, 2 plus y. And this makes me realize, actually, that I don't actually like that that's a minus. What I'm going to do is something, uh, well, it's not crazy, but I'm just going to times both sides by minus 1. If I do that, if I times this by minus 1, that goes. But then I'll have a negative here, which when I expand into this, becomes plus, minus. Because then when I divide by this, I can just write the 2y first. And this is our best answer to secure that dog walking job. Good luck. <laughs>